The, the trigger for us was an injury to one of our contractors uh, and one of our vessels. And the investigation highlighted some surprising behaviours, also some interventions that could have been actioned either by ourselves or the contractor that would have prevented the injury. So I decided to call a workshop with our key contractors. At the workshop I was made aware of the various standards within the industry, within the shipping industry. On the one hand you've got SEMEC standards and largely the BMAPA standards, and the other extreme you've got some shipping companies whose priority will be to get the ship out as quickly as possible, and if that means cutting a few corners on safety, then so be it. Unfortunately, that reinforces the perception within the contractor's workforce that raising safety issues is, is likely to lose contracts, and if they lose contracts, they're going to lose the job. So immediately after the workshop, I wrote to all of the contractors with an open letter to their employees, giving them and reinforcing their right to a safe working environment, and that no job should start until all the hazards have been either controlled or eliminated but also ask for their support because I wanted their support to help me and help my business improve our safety performance whereby they would step in and intervene where they saw any unsafe behaviours within my business. It's made it all become like a team. Um, so when you see somebody else doing something wrong, it's not a case you were doing that wrong, you would get them to understand a safety way of doing it and then that would then be logged through the feedback forms. At the workshop I also tabled the proposal to introduce a 360 feedback where each party would submit a quantifiable report on the safety performance after each job. Now we find that with our contractors they now make suggestions to us um, in how we can improve with our 360 um, feedback system that we have in place. You know we have contractors feeding back on our health and safety performance you know, within CEMEX, so um, when they're on board, not only do we report back to them on their health and safety, they report on ours. And from that, you know, it's a joint effort and um, we get a, a 360 improvement. I believe the partnership approach that we've applied has created that trust, created learning opportunities, it helped all of us improve our safety performance. But critically to me, it's given me one safety team. And that one safety team is bigger, it gives me more eyes, it gives me more experience and it gives me more opportunities to eliminate injuries in the workforce. Now, are we there yet? No, but we're in a far better place and we're going to get there a lot quicker with the approach we've applied.